Watch Junkanoo in a whole new way. See the magnificence of Junkanoo through the eyes of those who know it best. The Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture presents Junkanoo Watch Party, a night of Junkanoo excellence with commentary from the Junkanoo experts, plus your thoughts on social media. Junkanoo Watch Party, this Saturday, January 22nd, on the ZNS Network at 7.30 p.m. It seems the Bahamas is holding strong as the premier destination for tourists around the world. You see, despite the significant dent in the national tourism product due to the COVID-19 pandemic last year, the strong rebound touted by the Davis administration is said to be close to pre-pandemic levels. Here's what the tourism minister shared with our Altavis Munnings. At this time last year, the Bahamas was still under COVID-19 restrictions that limited not just what residents do, but the small number of tourists that were coming here. Nearly two years in the COVID-19 pandemic, and we're not yet at 100% in terms of tourism recovery, but we're getting there. We know that for December and November, we're still looking for numbers for uh, 2022, we're early days yet, but in terms of our recovery, we're back to 90% of our pre-pandemic level arrivals for those months. So we think that's very good. Uh, the Caribbean is tracking maybe 15% behind us, but the reality of it is that we are trending very strong in terms of tourism recovery, and we're looking and hoping that this will continue into the near term. Government is surely making it more easier and convenient for international passengers to travel to the Bahamas despite the recent rise in COVID-19 cases. The message has been disseminated that the Bahamas is a safe destination and visitors can feel comfortable vacationing here. Let's be frank about this. Many of them are coming from communities where community spread is actually higher than it is in the Bahamas. Certainly in many of our family islands, there have been no COVID cases since the pandemic began. So it's not just Nassau that's trending uh, with relatively high numbers. We have 16 island destinations. Some of them are still COVID free. This message is getting to the world through our normal marketing channels. And we think this is going to pay dividends for us in the near and medium term. As the United States and Canada remain the country's primary source visitor markets, Tourism Investments and Aviation Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Chester Cooper, touted details of priority marketing in Florida. There are 30 million Americans living in Florida alone. It's very a 35-minute flight from Fort Lauderdale, or Miami to Nassau. This is a, you know, an easy skip back home if there's an issue. Certainly, they're very close to home, and that's positive. We'll continue to be sure to market to Florida itself directly. That hasn't been discontinued. Canada is also a strong market. We have strong airlift with WestJet and Air Canada coming from major markets, Toronto, et cetera, and Canada. So we anticipate that demand is going to continue to be strong. Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.